I'm Ernie Conover. I'd like to tell you about an exciting new course we have in this year's lineup, Joinery Off the Grid. It has been my dream to teach such a course for many years, and my hand tool joinery course is always aimed at showing you how traditional woodworking with hand tools can benefit modern woodworkers in a machine environment. However, there is a growing movement of woodworkers who want to work completely without power tools, and joinery off the grid is aimed at this group. We will start by handing you a rough sawn plank, which you will bring to perfect smoothness and levelness with square edges with hand planes. You will go on to cut this plank up into the necessary pieces to the cutting list of our project and we will then dovetail these together to make a small box. One of the classic problems in making boxes with hand tools is making the grooves. We will plow all of the grooves with plow or combination planes about the same. This is a combination, but we also have power planes here. And one of the problems of using a plow plane is it's difficult to stop a groove. It's easy to do this with a router, but it's hard to do it with a plane. And for the groove not to show on the outside of our box, we would have to stop that groove on the tail boards about the center of the tail. We will get around this problem in one of two ways. One way is to plow the groove on through and then in cut a little square of matching wood and slide it in and glue it in place and then plane it off level. It's a classic way of solving the problem. A little nicer solution to the problem is to use a rabbit plane to rabbit the tail boards down to the depth of the groove. And by doing this, when we assemble the pieces, the groove will be completely hidden from the outside of the box. Very elegant solution. In our dovetail layout, we will widen a pin that is about an inch down from the top of the box. And after we glue up, we will be able to saw with a back saw through the center of that pin. And that will allow us to have the top and the bottom perfectly match each other and the grain to match between the top and the bottom. And for these three half pins to match each other perfectly. We will introduce you to shooting boxes. A plain shoot will be used to bring all of our panels and uh, the ends of our pieces to perfect smoothness and squareness so that layout is a snap. We will also employ a donkey's ear shoot to perfectly miter a liner for our box and bring it to a perfect fit. Both tools are age old but very valid today. Please join me for joinery off the grid. We're just going to have a great deal of fun.